I only got one thing to say about Lennox Lewis. Brother, how many red envelopes are you stuffing in your inner jacket? How much are they paying you? Because you either have a sexual crush on Anthony Joshua or somebody's in your back pocket hard. Once again, Lennox Lewis is up here trying to criticize Anthony Joshua in a polite way. So I guess he's catching some heat now, as he should. And as, you know, a UK citizen, man, man, I would be on this dude head. It has to be disappointing and very frustrating to know that. Well, I know he doesn't stay over there. I, I know he stays in Canada and whatever and whatnot. But it's got to be very disappointing to have this guy come from the same place that you guys are born. Because he's still in this interview. And this is one of the most sour interviews that he's done. I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can go ahead and read it. This is one of the most sour, obviously jealous um, interviews that he has done. He keeps talking about Ant what Anthony Joshua needs to do to make the fight. He needs to do that to make the fight. He needs to do this to make the fight. And, you know, my legacy was defined. My legacy was fine like wine because I fought the best, blah, 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 blah. You know, but at the end of the day, you got to understand, Anthony Joshua is, is in uncharted territory. We, we haven't seen nothing like Anthony Joshua in boxing, truly. You know what I'm saying? Um, his stardom is extremely similar to a Mike Tyson. It, it, it really is. Now, is he known around the world like Mike Tyson? No, not yet. You know, I think he really needs to fight in America for that to happen. But the thing about fighting in America is this. And I mean this when I say this and trust me, that is true. They want to rob Anthony Joshua blind. They want to get him over here so they can rob him. Why do you think they want him over here so bad? And this is kind of a suggestion that I have for Anthony Joshua and Team Hearn just to prove their point about how much Deontay Wilder don't want this fight. Now, bear with me for a second. I opt that they offer Deontay Wilder 50%, just to prove a point. Now, listen here. Give Deontay, offer Deontay Wilder 50%, but have that 50% contingent on he must fight in the UK first. He's not going to take it. Guarantee you he's not going to take it. And after he doesn't take it and he shoots that down, let that and put that out to the public and let that be known and then walk away and then wash your hands clean of it. I'm dead serious. Offer this guy 50 percent, but you got to fight in the UK first and then you can fight in America second. And I'm pretty sure that's the offer that they already have um, I'm offered him, but except a different percentage split. it. But give this offer him 50 50. OK. And say, but you have to come fight in the UK first. I guarantee you they don't accept it. See, because it's not about what we think it's about. They want to get Anthony Josh over there so they can strip him of all them damn belts. So they can have all them belts over here. Believe that. That's what they want to do. And in this article, even... Um, Lennox Lewis said, oh, well, I, under, I understand him being weary about coming to America and this, 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 that, that, that. Why are you being a spokesman for America so hard? And this is the thing. You throw all this chastising towards Anthony Joshua way and Anthony Joshua is the most decorated heavyweight. It just don't make no sense, man. It really don't. I mean, you need to be put down and all on your knees and, you know what I'm saying, be executed. For real. Rifle straight to the back of your dome. Because you just, I know you're sorry about Anthony Just How could you not be? Because you're probably looking at it like this, Lennox Lewis. You probably feel that you fought in a tougher era, right? And you feel that you didn't get the love that you deserve. And you didn't because we hated your fucking guts. You are epitome of a British fighter that we do not like. We did not like you. Here you got Anthony Joshua and you feel that he's grew up in a softer heavyweight era and he has and it's not his fault. But what's really pissing you off, what's really eating you alive, what's really got you jock itch in your drawers is that 
the love for Anthony Joshua that he has. You go up in this interview, you talk about how he's got this and how he got good looks and all that. I don't even know why you threw his looks in there. I don't know what Anthony Joshua's fit, uh, 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 physical attributes have to do with you and what you're trying to say. Yes, Anthony Joshua looks the part. That's part of the reason why he's so big. See, I understand about selling and how people have certain appeal and I understand about looks because in the field I am, how you look is very contingent on, in a way, how much money you make and how many, how, uh, how, how much people want to work with you. You know, so when you're a tall, well-built, muscular, handsome guy, you know, you will get more clientele, um, particularly in men and women, when you look that way. And Anthony Joshua has everything going for him. He has the charisma. He has this likability that you you can't help but to like the guy. And, 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 you know, that's rare. And he has the look and he has the physical attribute, okay, which is envious of all men, okay? Lennox Lewis was never built like him, you know, and I ain't no homo, but I can recognize when a man is looks better than another man. You know what I'm saying? And he looks better than Lennox Lewis. And he's jealous of that, you know? And you probably got Finkel in your back pocket or somebody saying something or, you know, the same shit. You, you, you know what they probably did? Just like all those heavyweights that showed up at the Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury fight, the set down at that table. That looks like something that they all wrote you guys a check for to come do and sit down. It's kind of like, what the president does when you see people, all these people go to the white house. We see Steve Harvey go to the white house and all these people uh, go to the white house who usually look like they shouldn't be there. They give those people a check to do that. Believe it or not. You know, and that's exactly what it looked like with these guys when they were sitting up there at that table, um, talking about Anthony Joshua during the Tyson Fury fight, when you should have been focusing on the Tyson Fury fight and selling that, you know, that's really what it is. But, as far as fighting Anthony Joshua, that was never the goal. They just wanted to milk off his name and build that. And if they can get a fight with Deontay Wilder or, or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You, the point is, they want to rob Anthony Joshua. They want him to come over here in America so they can strip him of all them belts and have all them belts be over here in America so America can renew its stronghold on boxing that it has slowly lost simply because we don't have people over here that want to be boxers anymore. There's more people over there in the UK that want to be boxers than in here in America. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to play football and everybody want to play basketball. Not too many people want to exchange leather. That's just the truth. So so over there, that's why I call the UK the new Jerusalem boxing. You know what I'm saying? That's the new Mecca of boxing. So that's why I said Anthony Joshua, he does not need anybody. He does not need America to be what he wants to be. You know I mean, this is a guy in the UK making more money than every boxer in America. So how can anybody talk shit to him? Name one boxer in America that's making what Anthony Joshua is making. Name one. Name one. Nobody. You have Floyd and that's it. Nobody. I mean, yeah, you got Canelo Alvarez, but Canelo Alvarez is over there with them. You know what I'm saying? They winning. You ain't got to worry about us. It's the illusions that you need us. And everybody think people don't know Anthony Joshua over here in America. We do. Believe me, we do. They know who Anthony Joshua is. They do. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily have to be from here to be big. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't necessarily have to come over here to be big, but that's really what it's about, man. They want to drag him over here. They want to rob him. But like I suggested, offer Deontay Wilder 50%. Have it contingent upon him coming to the UK and watch them turn that down. Eddie Hearn, you go on Cooten, Cooten Cash's show or you go on um, No Filter and you let it known to the world. Hell, I, I don't know. Show the contract. Say, look, we offered him 50-50. The only thing he had to do was come to the UK first and then come to America. And he turned it down. Trust me, they're not going to accept it. That's how you punk out Team Wilder. Dead serious. Because if they're not going to take 40%, just like Hearn said, they're not going to take 50%, but call they bluff. You know, that's just my suggestion, but I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can uh, read it. 
and listen to this sorry sap. It you know what it, it you know it sounds like a sorry love poem or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Lennox Lewis, you a fucking disgrace. And and I see why we never liked you. Anyways, let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.